Hi, I'm Vicente Mauri with uh, the International Academy of Orthopedic Medicine and today I want to share with you one simple exercise that you can do with your patients suffering from shoulder dysfunctions. This group out of Chile, uh, Charri et al, uh, in 2021 they created this nice clinical document where they show two different motor control exercises that will help to center the humeral head into the glenoid. Uh, easy ways to start making changes not only in the perception of motion but also on the arthrokinematics of that joint. So the first exercise it aims to uh, depress the humeral head into a more centered position. Uh, for this one the authors request the patient to be sitting on a stool with their arms supported on the table and approximately between 45 to 70 degrees of elevation in the scapular plane. So I have, a, I have my patient positioned in what would be the best ideal uh, one. And what they recommended is to use your index and your middle fingers and contact through the axilla the humeral head. So the patient can have a, a way to uh, immediate feedback uh, to control the motion that we're asking them to, to perform. So the verbal cue for them is going to be, uh, Alex, I want you to project the humeral head down into my, sh into my fingers without moving your arm. So in this position, I want you to push. That was too much, so I can give immediate feedback to my patient. Not as much motion here. I want more motion on the humeral head, and then I can feel it better um, by, by just giving you some palpating cues also. Uh, sometimes with my patients, I also project um, my fingers into the deltoid uh, or into the most superficial muscles like the teres major. I don't want them to be using those external muscles to get the or to accomplish the exercise. So again, my two fingers down here, I get some cues, I'm palpating the deltoid or the teres major and I want you to push down, perfect. Hold it for five seconds, three, four, five and relax. The second exercise that will increase or enhance the body awareness and the motor control proprioceptive information of the glenohumeral joint is in this case aiming to restore some of the retraction motion of the scapula. So for this one we have the same positioning, the patient in 45 to 70 degrees of elevation in the scapular plane and then I'm going to give him two cues here with my fingers on the inferior angle of the scapula and I want you to take it into your opposite hip. So I'm using my, my verbal cues and I'm using my palpating fingers so he can have a better idea of how to perform the exercise. And again, Alex, I want you to do it without moving your arm, just emphasizing your scapular motion and I want you to push down into my fingers into this direction, hold that for five seconds and relax. These two exercises have shown through this study that they can increase the distance between the acromion and the humeral head, therefore decreasing the pressure of the subacromial space.